Hello, hello, what is up Elite Marketing Pro community? Carrie Heim here, super pumped to be with you the day before Thanksgiving. Um, if you're watching this and it's not live, make sure you give me a hashtag replay in the comments. And No Swimming Allowed is the title of today's Daily Dose of Awesome. And we're, what we're gonna be talking about is how a very important rule in Cabo, Mexico, uh, Cabo San Lucas, Mexico, actually affects you and your business and how you're going to be able to use it to get new customers, new prospects, signing up into your business before the end of the year and how to avoid a lot of the pitfalls that people make in life, but also, oh goodness, all of a sudden Facebook goes crazy, but also really how to, you know, set yourself up as an authority and a leader inside of your business, inside of the industry that you're in, so that you develop more of that influence over yourself. So if you're watching this and it is live, make sure that you comment your name, where you're from. That way I can say hello as we go. I'd love to give you a shout out. And also, I'd love to know if you're in the United States, let me know what you're doing for Thanksgiving. I'd love to know all of your Thanksgiving plans. So, oh goodness, Facebook goes crazy. It seems like anytime I go live, all of a sudden Facebook messages start and it, go, it, it drives me nuts. But anyways, so uh, Cabo. And you know what? I haven't had anybody comment yet. Um, hopefully Facebook will allow me to see your comments um, because usually by now I've had people commenting. So if you're commenting, I'm not seeing them. Um, let's see. Yep, if you are commenting, I'm not seeing them, so I'm, aha, there we go, there's Bart, okay. I flipped it, and now they're coming through. So hey, Bart, hey, Tuomos, hey, Debbie, hey, Casey. Good to see you guys. Happy Thanksgiving to all of you guys um, that are here in the United States. Hey, Julia. Okay, awesome, so you guys are seeing, I'm able to see you, so that's great. All right, so no swimming allowed. So um, we, Wit and I actually just got back from a nine-day vacation in Cabo San Lucas, Mexico. We had won it um, from a, uh, I guess, a training, a uh, affiliate contest that we had done a year ago um, with my best, one of my best friends, Kate McShay, who is also doing the Special Black Friday training. Um, so if you have not signed up for that training, seriously, it's one you don't want to miss. Make sure that you click the link in the description of this video. It's a generic link. When you go there, you sign up. Your, um, you know, a big chunk of the proceeds are actually going to fight world hunger uh, with a very special co uh, charity called Hyper International. So make sure you go click that link, go check it out. You don't want to miss it. And if you can't show up live, guess what? You still can get access to the recording later. So you're not out anything. Make sure you go check it out. It's a great way that you're going to be able to not only learn how to create a new surge of customers and teammates inside your business so that you can start rank advancing, you know, start building that team even bigger, uh, keep that momentum going through the end of the year, but you're also going to be helping fight world hunger. So it's a great way to give back during the holiday season. So Bart, driving 40 minutes to east side of Cleveland to sister-in-law's house. Love it. Debbie, going to my sister's with all all the extended fam except my sister who will be ditching us for Paris. <laughs> I'd probably ditch my family to go to Paris too if I could. <laughs> I love it. So everyone else is hop um, hopping on. Make sure you say hello. I'd love to give you a shout out. Let me know what your plans are for Thanksgiving. Wit and I, um, we just got back from Cabo San Lucas, like I just said, and so we're going to be spending uh, Thanksgiving with family. We're actually going to be staying here. Both of our parents live within five minutes of us, so we get double doses of Thanksgiving this year. So Cabo San Lucas, let me get back to my story because that was a little bit of a squirrel moment. But um, so yeah, Wit and I, we just got back from a nine day trip to Cabo. Um, it was an affiliate with an affiliate contest that we had won. Um, we had won that trip and we spent nine days with Kate. She was putting, you know, all of the last finishing touches together for this special Black Friday training. But when we first got off the airplane, so when you go to Mexico, don't you expect to spend a lot of time on the beach and a lot of time in the ocean and the salt water? I was really looking forward to that. And when I got off the airplane, um, the driver that picked us up, he told us, he's like, no swimming. There's no swimming allowed in the ocean. Um, there's a couple of beaches that you can swim in, but usually they're overcrowded, overpopulated. He's like, just plan on spending a lot of your time at the pool. And at the time I didn't understand. I was like, what the heck? I came to Cabo. I was expecting to spend a lot of time in the ocean. And I was thinking, maybe he doesn't know, you know, maybe he doesn't really know. And we get to the hotel, 
Kate gets here and I notice that sure enough, our beach is closed. That's right off of our uh, resort. Our beach is, cl uh, is closed for swimming. You can walk the beach and everything, but you're not allowed to get in the water. And I didn't understand. And I was like, what, how come we can't swim? So Kate and Andrew get there. And I asked Kate, I was like, what's the reason that everyone's telling us we can't swim? And I, I mean, I, I wasn't complaining. I was just very curious. I was like, how come we're not allowed to swim? Like, is it sharks? You know, like, what are the, what's the reason we can't swim? And she, she, she actually says, she's like, well, you're in Cabo. You're at the, t so Cabo, where it sits on the map. Hey, hey, John, good to see you. So it's actually at the, um, the very uh, tip of the Baja California Peninsula. And at that tip, the Sea of Cortez and the Pacific, Pacific Ocean meet. That's where they meet. And what ends up happening is because those, hey, Samra, good to see you. So because those two oceans meet, the currents that are there are extremely powerful. The undertow is super strong. Um, and there's a lot of people that end up drowning that swim in the ocean in Cabo, um, that if they swim in places that aren't, you know, uh, designated as safe areas to swim. So when she told me that, she's like, look out at the ocean. And sure enough, I look out and you can actually see the ocean and the currents mixing together. And, and you can see how strong the waves are when you're there. So how does this, how is this like your business? So Think about it this way. What if Whit and I had like disobeyed the rules and we decide, you know what? These people don't know what they're talking about. We're just going to go and we're going to jump in. We very well might not have come home, right? We very well could have um, been badly injured. And what if we were fine? Even if we were fine, we are running the risk, right? We're running the risk. The same can happen for your business. All right, there are people, and here's the thing, there was warnings, we were getting warnings from everybody around us, right? Don't swim in the ocean. So how many times have you been given advice by a mentor or you've been given advice by someone who's gone through this process before you and you haven't listened to it? You, It's like committing business suicide. It really is. It's just like jumping in the ocean in Cabo San Lucas in an in a unsafe place. That's exactly what it's like. Hey, Ken, good to see you. Also, everyone who's hopping on, let me know where you're watching from um, and let me know what your Thanksgiving plans are. I'd love to know. So um, when it comes to your business, there's people who have gone through this before, right? There's people just like the locals of Mexico, the locals of Cabo knew not to swim in the ocean. There's people who have been around a time or two that are getting results, right? There's people that are getting results inside their business. They're enrolling customers. They're enrolling distributors. Um, if they, you know, there's, there's people that are bringing in money, right? And those are the people that you want to listen to. And a lot of times they give us advice that we're like, uh, I don't know if I want to do that, right? I don't know if that's a fit for me. I don't know. And this, Whit and I were there, right? But here's the thing. And this is, this was advice that I was given um, when I first came into Elite Marketing Pro, and I'm so happy that I was given this advice. They said, um, I, it was actually, I was talking to uh, someone who's actually a mentor of mine now, because I was like, I've been listening to some people's advice, and I'm not liking the results that I'm getting. And he's like, and he told, and I was like, but also I'm seeing all these, all this advice from these different people, right? Like, who am I supposed to follow? That was my biggest thing. And he says, so you've been listening to people and you aren't getting the results that you want. But here you are here, you've, you've signed up for mentorship inside of Elite Marketing Pro. You know that there's people that are getting results and you're hesitant to follow their advice because of bad advice you've been given from people in the past. And I was like, and all of a sudden it clicked where I was like, I need to find a mentor. I need to grab onto someone's coattails, someone who's actually getting the results that I want. And if they're building their business in a way that I can, that I'm comfortable with building my business, I'm going all in. And that's exactly what I did. And it's exactly how I was able to, you know, hit the top of the leaderboards, um, become, you know, Whit and I, we became the number one affiliates here inside of Elite Marketing Pro in less than a year. And it's because we, we were super focused. We picked our mentor, we picked a strategy, and then we used that strategy and we didn't listen to all of the, uh, everything that was going on around us, right? All of the, um, the, what's the word I'm looking for? The shiny objects, right? That were being thrown at us. We didn't listen to them. 
If there was some guru who came out with a new strategy, we asked ourselves, is this going to get us closer to what we want or is it going to take us away? And because we were super focused, because I was constantly talking to my mentors, um, you know, I, I was able to build very quickly. And so how, what does this have to do with you? Are you, so if you're here inside the Elite Marketing Pro community, if you've signed up for training, are you taking your mentor's advice? Have you picked a mentor here inside of the community? Are you taking their advice? Are you doing the things that they're telling you to do? And here's the thing. A lot of times as entre- you know, we think that we're entrepreneurs, but we're actually looking to be told. I need to be told exactly what to do. But here's the thing. A lot of times in entrepreneurship, it it it's a leap of faith, right? It's 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 deciding and 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 taking the plunge and testing trial and error trial and error over and over again and so what are you doing right now in your business is it working is it generating the leads is it generating the sales and have you given yourself enough time to determine if the strategy that you're using is working if you're here inside of elite marketing pro especially in the community you might be looking at mentorship you might be looking at vip you might even be looking at kate McShay's training that she's going to be doing on Black Friday and you might be asking yourself, do I need this, right? And I'm here to tell you that to talk to people that have gone before you, talk to some of those VIPs that are in the community, talk to people that have gone fast track, you know, talk to some of the, the mentors that are here inside of the community and ask them, do you think that this is going to benefit me? right? With the Black Friday offer, do you feel like this is going to benefit me? Do you feel like it's going to move me forward in my business or is it going to be a shiny object? I'm here to tell you that for Wit and I, we, we bought that Black Friday training because I know Kate McShay, she is a huge mentor of mine. I've tried to follow in her footsteps as much as I can. And I know that a lot of her students that are using this strategy are recruiting reps, they're recruiting customers, teammates, and their businesses are growing. All right, so let me know if you've gotten any value. And I'd also love to know what you got from this from this Daily Dose of Awesome. If you got anything at all, drop a comment. Let me know what you got from it. And if you got value, give me a hashtag value. Um, because it can be very noisy, right? When you're, when you're venturing out into entrepreneurship, when you're venturing out into building your business online, there can be things that are thrown at you, just like those currents right in the ocean a lot of things that can be thrown at you and a lot of things that can sweep you away from from your target right and so what i what i'm hoping that you get from this daily dose of awesome is knowing that you're in the right place first of all if you're looking for a way to build your business and you're looking for a way to do it all online and actually using attraction marketing principles where you attract people to you you're in the right place now it's a matter of picking a mentor here inside of the community writing their coattails and picking that strategy and then going all in, going all in, uh, putting all of your focus on that one strategy and hitting the leaderboards, right? Constant evaluation, asking yourself what's working, what's not working, what might I do differently? So that's it. That's a wrap. Make sure that you sign up for uh, Kate McShay's Black Friday uh, training that she's going to be doing on Black Friday. The details are in a link in the description of this Daily Dose of Awesome. I'm so excited that I got to spend some time with you guys here, especially um, before you know Thanksgiving. want to let you all know I'm extremely grateful for you. I'm extremely grateful for this community, thankful. Um, and hopefully you guys have a wonderful and safe holiday weekend. And um, Daily Dose of Awesome will be live again on Monday. There will not be a Daily Dose of Awesome on uh, tomorrow because it is Thanksgiving here in the U.S. And there will not be a Daily Dose of Awesome on Friday because of the special Black Friday training that Kate is doing. Make sure you sign up. And so make sure you keep an eye out for Daily Dose of Awesome again on Monday at 1 p.m. Eastern. Y'all have a great one.